Hello everyone, welcome to Thrill Thrifter. My name is Julie and on today's video, I'm gonna share my thrifted master bedroom with you. Now, not everything in here is thrifted, but most of the decor is, like all of the hanging pictures and little decor pieces, stuff like that. I'm gonna share everything with you in this bedroom that is thrifted. Now, I did purchase a few retail items for the spring and summer season, so I'm gonna share that with you also. So let's get right into the video share what I bought retail and then share with you how I have decorated my master bedroom for the spring season. So for my bedding for this spring and summer, I picked up this beautiful quilt at Ross y'all for only $44.99. It comes with the quilt and the two shams, which is unusual. Everyone that I've looked at at Target, you have to buy the shams separately and it's like $20 a sham. I'm struggling because it is it does have a lot of pink in it, but um, I've told y'all I am trying really hard to bring some color. And so like, here's the bare bones kind of right now, what's going on in here. And I just want to brighten it up in here for the spring and summer. And I bought a comforter last year that was like green. And whoa, y'all, I just had to give that to Kara because it is way too hot. My husband and I cannot sleep underneath that thing. I was folding it every day and putting it at the end of my bed. It looked very beautiful like that, but that's just not practical. I'm not, I do not want to do that every day during the summer. I'd rather be outside. So I got this beautiful quilt set. So if you have a Ross and you're interested, you might check your Ross. I love how soft it is. It's not like rough, like um, a lot of store-bought quilts. It is very, very soft. And this is my favorite part, this pattern kind of like right here. That is a little more mauve kind of than I really like, but I think it's gonna look okay once I get the green pillows and the green blanket on. I think it'll tone it down just a little bit. So this is gonna be the only thing I have really with color in here, um, except for some florals that I got at Hobby Lobby. And let me show those to y'all real quick. So right here is where I'm wanting to put some florals. You can see that I have some blue in here. That's what I thought I was going to be using for the spring and summer, but when I found that quilt, I've kind of changed my mind. 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 <laughs> I've kind of changed my mind. I'll get it out here in a minute. Um, so I'm going to take these out and maybe put those in my guest bedroom because I've moved a lot of the blue stuff in there. I don't know, y'all. I'm just always changing things and trying new things. So I'm going to try some pinks this year, which is kind of makes me kind of nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Here's the pink florals that I got. And I really think I'm probably not going to use these because once I got them home, they are huge, y'all. Like, huge. And I think that's just way too much. So, I picked these up. These were, they're beautiful, but that's just kind of like way too much. These were all half price. So, I got two of those pink ones, which I think I'm probably going to take back. Now, I don't mind these because they're, they go really well with that dark, dark excuse me, dark colored mauve there. And I will probably mix in like one of these. And then I got um, like a sprig of these to kind of throw in there. And then I got this little stem of rose with a rose. And then I got just some eucalyptus to cut up and kind of put in there also. And I th Oh, and I did get some of this stuff right here. It's kind of like baby's breath. Um, but I'm gonna kind of put that in there. And then I plan on making a small little arrangement over there to hang out of that purse. So between the bedspread and the few florals that I got for those two spaces, that's all the color I think I'm gonna do in here. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here on my wooden door headboard if I'll just leave it blank. I don't know until I kind of get it all put together. But these were some beautiful flowers and I think that they complement the colors on the bedspread perfectly. Like I said, I got all of these for half price. Like this set here was $5.99. Um, let's see. There's $6.99 on that one. And then these big ones, these are like the real touch. So they were a little more expensive, but still $5. That's a pretty, that's a beautiful floral. Let's see, I've already showed you those. The big thing of eucalyptus, I like to, whoop, there went a leaf. I had to put that back on. I like to take these and cut them up and put them down in my arrangements. And then the rose. And I think I got two of each one of these 
like I said, whatever, whatever I don't use, I may take back. So, but let me get this all put together and show you the finished look of my bedroom for spring and summer. I also picked up this pillow at Hobby Lobby. Um, I got it for half price. The original price was $39 and that is a lot for a pillow for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the tag on for now. I'm going to put it on the bed and make sure I like it first. And then I can take the tags off later. I usually will leave the tags on throw pillows and stuff like that for at least a couple of days to make sure I like it. So, but I did want to show y'all that I did purchase this piece here also. Okay, so here is the bedding all put on the bed and I really, really like it. Now those green velvet looking pillows behind the pink one, I got those at Sam's probably in January. I actually got four of them for like a very, very discounted price. Those pillows are huge and I think I paid $12 a piece for them. So I added them to this bedding and I think it really helped it out. So I think that it's gonna work, especially for spring and summer. I will definitely do something else for the fall, but you cannot beat that for such an inexpensive bedspread. Okay, and while we are on the topic of bedding, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about my thrifted bed skirts. I do actually have two different bed skirts on here. They are both thrifted at different times. I really, really, really like this one, but it's not big enough for my king bed. So what I did is I pulled it enough so that on both sides of the bed, you can still see it. You just can't see it here on the end, but that's okay because you can see it on both sides. This one I got and I like it, but I really think it looks pretty with two bed skirts just layered on top of each other. Just really like how it has this where it looks like a doily. It's so pretty. So I wanted that. I wanted you to be able to see that. I think this must be for like a full size bed. But anyway, it works on here layered with my king size one and you can see it on both sides. It's just like this on the other side. You just can't see anything at the end because it's not big enough. All right. And then the other part of my bed or bedding um, is my what I call my headboard. This is an old antique wooden door that come out of a very old house. I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace for I think 10 or $20, I cannot remember, but I love it. I normally have a wreath or something on it, but I really felt like the bedspread was kind of busy, so I didn't put anything on the door. Um, during Christmas, I put lights and all kind of stuff up there, but I thought it looked good just kind of dressed down and with the busy bedspread, I thought it just worked. So I love this thrifted DIY type headboard. I put some hooks on the, on the back and just hung it up in studs because it is very, very heavy. So I just love the very country look that that kind of gives. And you can notice here down on the foot of the bed what I was talking about where it's not layered here on the end. It's just because it will not fit on both ends. Okay, now this little corner over here is probably one of my favorite have my husband's nightstand over here and the nightstand itself and our big dresser with the mirror and the big wardrobe cabinet that is not thrifted we bought that brand new over 20 years ago and we really like it but pretty much everything else on the little nightstand is thrifted i wanted to kind of give it a little um soften it up over here like with just this it's so dark and i don't know i just wanted to give it a little feminine touch a little soft touch for the spring and summer so i just laid this thrifted i think this is a tablecloth or something because it's really big i just have it kind of gathered up back behind there and thrown back there you can't see it but i have it just where it kind of covers here and it doesn't get in the way of the drawer and i love how that looks with a little thrifted terracotta pot frame and most recently my little oil lamp And also want to mention that this lamp here, I have another one on the other side 
They are both thrifted. The bases to the lamps I got one day at Goodwill. And then I got both of the shades at Salvation Army one day. So that's how it works when you're thrifting. Sometimes you might find one thing one day and something else the next. But as long as you love it, it's all going to flow together, I promise. Okay, so over here I just have a brown vintage peg rack with all the thrifted things on it except for the florals and the little robe. The robe I have had for years, so I thought it would be pretty to hang it over here since it has some of the pinks in it. And I just love that kind of silk look it gives. Just again, very feminine and spring looking, I think. The basket, the purse, the linen over there, which I think is a curtain uh, panel. And then the two hangers here. Those are all thrifted pieces that I've just all put together here on the peg rail or peg rack. I probably say that wrong every time. Okay, and like I mentioned a while ago, here's that other thrifted lamp and lampshade. Now the diffuser is not thrifted, but the cake plate here that it is sitting on, this doily, and this beautiful little brass piece here that I keep the remote to the diffuser in, fits perfectly by the way, that is thrifted. We're by a window, so the lighting's going to get a little bit different, but the Wexford canister, this beautiful little clock over here and this chamber pot which I do still have the lid for but I keep a plant in mine and since I'm doing some beautiful pinks in here for the spring and summer I thought I would go ahead and add it in my bedroom because it does have some beautiful pink detail in it as you can tell I think I got this one at Salvation Army y'all for about four bucks and it is antique old and it is beautiful Okay, and every time someone comments to me about, wow, that's a lot of stuff to dust, how do you keep from having to dust your house so much? Well, I probably dust just as much as everybody else, but this thing here, which I do have off right now because it is kind of noisy for filming, but I have a huge air purifier that I keep right in here on my side of the bed because I do struggle with some allergies and stuff. So this helps tremendously with the dust. All right, and then just right over here, all I have is a thrifted basket that holds some extra blankets should I get cold and need them. And then right up here, I just have some wedding pictures in these beautiful thrifted brass frames. Okay, and then right here on our large dresser, I have quite a few thrifted pieces. A lot of these right here are thrifted. This huge picture right here, the book underneath it, the little coin purse, and the green riser that you see, all thrifted, along with this little tray here that I keep some of my most used essential oils in. And the runner that you see going down the dresser, it is also thrifted. I got that long time ago this beautiful piece here that I use just to catch jewelry like my bracelets and things that I wore today I'll just take them off and throw them in here I do have another place where I keep my jewelry but this is stuff that I'm just in a hurry trying to hop in the shower or change something like that so this is kind of my little jewelry catch-all I guess you would say 
And then just some thrifted books, a little thrifted soup terrine with some dried florals. The brass candlesticks are thrifted as well as this frame and the lamp and the lampshade. This little box here is not thrifted. This belonged to my husband's father. And then I've also mentioned this before, but every time I show it, somebody asks. This is a picture of me as a baby. Okay, and then the last little corner that I want to share with you, it's also one of my favorites, is this little corner over here by our closet where we sit and put our shoes on and off. And everything over here is thrifted. Okay, and elephant in the room is, I know that this rug does not match the current theme I have going on with the pinks and different things like that and greens, but I don't want to pull it out because I don't have anything else to put under there. I could have pulled it out just for filming purposes and then put it back, but I really take pride in being true and honest with y'all here on my channel, and I'm not going to pull things away and then put it back after I'm finished filming. Y'all can probably relate. This is real life. Sometimes you just don't always have the pieces that you need. You just got to work with what you got. So until I can find something different, we're going to keep the blue rug in here. But like I said, everything else in this corner is thrifted. So that is just a Christmas tree skirt, y'all, that I had it around a Christmas tree in our guest bedroom during Christmas. And I loved it so much. So I just kind of draped it over the chair here where you really can't tell that that's what it was. So... I didn't want to put it up in storage. I thought how beautiful would that look draped over a chair because y'all know here on Thrill Drifter that we layer everything. So that's working perfectly there. And then the basket, the rabbit, and the pillow there, that is all thrifted. And I do kind of love how that looks. If y'all notice, I got that plug covered up. Those of you that followed me for a while know I was struggling. For now, it's covered up with a pillow and it's spring, almost Easter. So my little rabbit has taken her place here in the master bedroom. Also very primitive and she has on a beautiful little lace outfit. I actually got this rabbit and the outfit separately at a garage sale one year and she even has little pants on y'all look at the little legs isn't that adorable um anyway so yeah look at her beautiful outfit it matches my decor so well i love this i think i paid 50 cents for the dress and 50 cents for the rabbit or something i don't know but love her and then just right above everything i have my thrifted painter's tray from goodwill and then my antique store finds over here these beautiful frames that i love so much so not a lot of new things going on over here in this corner this is all pretty much the same except for that christmas tree skirt i think and the pillow and the little rabbit now i would like to of course like i said find a different little round rug and then i would like to find a little i don't know like pink or solid green like a small one to put in that chair i don't have anything in that chair because i find that it's just kind of in our way and we we do sit there to put our shoes on and off so that's why i just keep it you know empty because we actually do use the chair i really hope that y'all enjoyed seeing all of my thrifted and my few retail pieces that I've purchased to decorate my master bedroom for spring slash summer. We hope that y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see y'all next Tuesday with a brand new thrifting video.